In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today we offer this Holy Mass for our Paris community. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful, by your peaceful rule, and that your church may rejoice untroubled in her devotion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Sirach. To the penitent, God provides a way back. He encourages those who are losing hope and has chosen for them the lot of truth. Return to him and give up sin. Pray to the Lord and make your offenses few. Turn again to the Most High and away from your sin. Hate intensely what he loathes, and know the justice and judgments of God. Stand firm in the way set before you, in prayer to the Most High God, who in the nether world can glorify the Most High in the place of the living who offer their praise. Dwell no longer in the error of the ungodly, but offer your praise before death. No more can the dead give praise than those who have never lived. You who are alive and well shall praise and glorify God in his mercies. How great is the mercy of the Lord, his forgiveness of those who return to him. The word of the Lord. Let us ex let the just exalt and rejoice in the Lord. Let the just exalt and rejoice in the Lord. Blessed is he whose fault is taken away, whose sin is covered. Blessed the man to whom the Lord imputes not guilt, in whose spirit there is no guile. Let the just exalt and rejoice in the Lord. Then I acknowledged my sin to you, my guilt I covered not. I said, I confess my faults to the Lord, and you took away the guilt of my sin. Let the Lord. For this shall every faithful man pray to you in times of stress. Though deep waters overflow, they shall not reach him. Let the just exalt and rejoice in the Lord. You are my shelter from distress. You will preserve me. With glad cries of freedom, you will ring me round. Let the just exalt and rejoice in the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Jesus Christ became poor, although he was rich, so that by his poverty 
you might become rich. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus setting out on a journey, a man ran up, kneeled down before him, and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus answered him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not be your false witness. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and your mother. He replied and said to him, Teacher, all of this I have observed from my, jo from my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, You are lacking in one thing. Go, sell what you have, and give the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. At that, at that statement, his face filled. And he went away sad, for he had many possessions. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were amazed at, the, at his words. So Jesus again said to them in reply, Children, how hard is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were exceedingly astonished and said among themselves, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For men it is impossible, but not for God. All things are possible for God. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel reminds us two important points in our faith. First point, the eternal life exists. It's not idea. It's real. The eternal life exists. Our life no finish, no end with the death. After death, the eternal life exists. And this is very important. Many people in our times forget that question, important question. The eternal life is real. Jesus, rise up. This is our hope. This is our way. Jesus is living God. No God for death. Living God. And the second question is, what is our, what is our response before this reality, the eternal life? The young man said to Jesus and asked to Jesus, what I need to pay for the eternal life? What I need to pay? His way is interest, but this is not good way. The way of a good Christian is the way of love, the way of gratitude. I want to get the eternal life because I want to stay with God. I want to love God. I want to stay with God ever and ever. This is our way. Not just interest. I fulfill the commandments and God opened eternal life for me. It's like a business. But this is not our way. Our way is the relationship with God. The love to God 
for the eternal life. Let us ask to Jesus that help us to understand that important points. The eternal life exists and the way for that eternal life is the way of love, the way of gratitude. Let us pray in silence. With confidence, we present our petitions to God. For the prophetic church, the voice of Christ in the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For honest leaders who attend to the good of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For hopeful families who raise children in difficult circumstances, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who make peace with quiet patience and cheerful persistence, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all gathered here who seek holiness in everyday life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our parish community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us thank you, Lord our God. And through these prayers professed your steadfast love for us, confident that you hear and answer all our needs through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and war of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who provide gifts to be offered to your name and count our oblations as signs of our desire to serve you with devotion, we ask of your mercy that what you grant that what you grant us the source of merit may also help us to attain merit's reward through Christ our Lord. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. <clears throat> it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and every word to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent us our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be course to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.